Recording in progress. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Sin leads to death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. God be praised. God be praised. The gift of God is eternal life. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus came to save us through the atoning death. He died for us to save us from our sins. He went to Calvary. That's why Jesus came. That's why we celebrate Christmas. That's why all of the excitement about Christmas and 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 it's it's they've capitalized on it and they've commercialized it and 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 now Christmas isn't we everybody doesn't celebrate the real reason for Christmas but we who are washed in the blood we who are sanctified we who are delivered from the bondage and the yoke of sin and the destruction of sin we worship Jesus who bled, was born, bled and died for us, what cleansed us from all unrighteousness, and through the atoning death on the cross, and the sanctifying power of the Holy Ghost, we can walk with him, Sister Felicia, and we understand the meaning of Christmas. Yes, yes, yes. yes. We understand it. We know that those of us who turn to Jesus will be set free from the guilt and the slavery of sin. Sin comes, sin is, is, like, is like slavery. You, you see people and, and you see them suffering and you see them struggling and you try to tell them about freedom in Jesus and they don't want to hear it. Sin has gotten a hold to them. And so they, they, they're, 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 they become slaves to it. They can't break free. They find it difficult to break free of the bondage and the yoke of sin and the guilt of sin. But even though they don't listen, we must tell someone about Jesus. Yes. We must tell them about Jesus. Yeah. So that they can come to experience the hope of this eternal salvation that we enjoy. Yes. 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 Jesus is the hope of salvation. Jesus came to set men free from their wickedness. Yes. We must tell them so their eyes can be opened. The scales of of sin can be taken away from their eyes and they can see and understand what our God, Jesus Christ, is all about so that they can be free to walk in newness of life just as we are experiencing the joy of this wonderful salvation so that their eyes can be open to the truth of who Jesus is to turn from darkness, turn from the evil of this world, turn. The Bible says, turn your eyes upon Jesus. The songwriter says, turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face and the things of this world will go strangely dim in the light. Because when we turn our eyes on him, we see the light of God that is shining through the sinful world and it guides us and it directs us 
to the God of grace and glory that we we must tell them that no matter what state they they find themselves in uh -huh. that there is forgiveness oh, yes, Lord. Jesus came to forgive us to roll back and beat back the powers of Satan hallelujah that God may be real to us. Jesus came to save us. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Matthew 1, 21 says, And she shall bring forth a son, and we shall call his name Jesus, because he came to save us. That's what Christmas means. A Savior is born. A savior is born. Yes. yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Are we glad this morning yes. that yes. Jesus came into this world to die for us, Thank that you, we Father. may have this hope of eternal life? The scripture says, For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, mm. Mm -hmm. that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. We don't have to perish. Jesus came so we don't have to perish. He came to give us life and that more abundantly. Yes. Everlasting life, life eternal belongs to us. All we have to do is believe him. Amen. All we have to do is trust him. Mm. All we have to do is lean on him. Mark chapter six, 16. Verse 16, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Mark 16, 16, but he that believeth not shall be damned. All we have to do is believe him, believe him. Believe him. Yes. His love, Mother Smith, is wide enough to embrace everyone in the world. Praise God. He gave his only begotten son because of love. For God so loved the world. He loved us so much that sin was ravishing our lives, but he sent his son Jesus to die for us. <clears throat> Do you remember today? Christmas is not presents. There's no Santa Claus in Christmas. Some of us have our children believing in Santa Claus. Santa Claus doesn't have anything to do with Christmas that we celebrate. <laughs> we celebrate Jesus. Amen. Santa Claus is a myth. There is no truth in that. None. Jesus is the one that gives us the strength to go out and work so we can treat our children yes. at Christmas time. Yes. Because Christmas is a time of giving. God sent his son. He gave his son yes. for us. So we give and it's a time of love all year long. But because of the love of Jesus and, and because he came. to die for us, to give himself for us, then we share and we give gifts. But that's not what Christmas is all about. Yeah. Teach your children what Christmas is all about. Christmas is Jesus, God sending his son, Jesus in the world, so that we might have a right and, a, and, and deliverance and freedom from sin. 
He came to die for us. He came to forgive us of our sins that we may inherit eternal life, abundant life. Abundant life comes through Jesus. Abundant life for God so loved the world. For God so loved us that when we turned our backs on him and we wouldn't serve him anymore and we didn't want to have anything to do with him, he saw our need and he sent his son to die for us that we might have everlasting life. Yes. His love is embracing. His love is uplifting. His love cleanses us. His love keeps us. This little song that they said, sing, he's got the whole world in his hands. We are in his hands. And for those who don't know him, if you're on our Zoom platform this morning and you don't know him the way we know him, I want to introduce him to you this morning and let you know that he came to save you from your sins. And there is no sin that you can commit except for blasphemy that God will not forgive. And I am going to add suicide. Mm -hmm. Because some, there's a misconception that if I commit suicide, it's all over. No, it's not. It's just oh, beginning. Oh, just... Because you can't go back and say, Lord, I'm sorry for taking my life. You're already dead. So how are you going to go to God and ask for forgiveness? So if there's someone listening to me that is contemplating taking your life this morning, let me tell you, let me introduce you to Jesus who came to save you from your sin and from bondage and from defeat and from, from, from sadness and from feeling hopeless. That's why he came. Amen. It was to save us from our sin. He's got the whole world in his hand. His loving embrace will comfort you and give you strength and courage yes, Jesus. to go on. He came to be the savior of humanity. And sometimes people think that they've done so much wrong that God doesn't even want to do want anything to do with them. That's a lie. That's a trick of the enemy. Yes. Jesus came. He came. He came to save us. He was born in a manger, the humblest way he could. That's to let us know that he is there for us. You cannot get so hum so down in sin and, and, and disgrace and, and degradation that he is not there to help to pick you up because he suffered like as we are. He was, he, born, he was born a humble death in the manger amongst all the droppings. Yeah, but if, if anybody has ever gone to the country and, and you go in, into a manger or a stable into a stable where the cows and the goats and the pigs and, and, and all, of, all of those animals are, you would recognize how low yeah, Jesus yeah, came. Yeah. He came low so he could pick us up and build us up. He was tempted on all points like as we are yet without sin. So whatever you are going through, Jesus was tempted at all points, like as we are yet without sin, because this God in him, the God in him, hallelujah, could not sin. And so he has given us that same spirit. The Bible says the same spirit that raised him from the dead now dwells in our mortal bodies. Amen. To give us that same power, hallelujah, to live free from sin. Thank you, 
Hallelujah. Greater love has no man than this. There is no greater love than the love of Jesus who laid down his life for us. We are his friends and he laid down his life for us. He came to, its, to redeem us, but because he, we are now redeemed, we must continue in that same love to show someone out there the way. We must continue in his love. We must abide in his love. His love will keep us. His love will keep us. We now are the sons of God. We now who are blood washed, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, must show the love of God. If the world is to see love as Jesus showed love, we are now responsible to show the love of Jesus to the world. If they see Jesus, if they see the love of Jesus, it must be through us. We must love one another we must show forth the love of God. The world must be able to see the light of God through us. They will see through you if you're washed in the blood, if you're striving to seek after God. Let the beauty of Jesus, the song says, be seen in me. All his wondrous compassion. We must be compassionate to those around us. Yes, yes, God. The same love that dwells in Jesus now dwells in us, in our mortal bodies. Yes. So we must let the love of Jesus yes. be seen. All his wondrous compassion. He was compassionate. Compassionate to the death on the cross. Compassionate when we, when we feel lonely and, and distressed, when we're grieving, when we're bereaved, this compassion. Hallelujah. When we sin, this compassion, we must show forth that compassion. Hallelujah. To one another, we must live in the atmosphere of love. We must love one another. That's why we read 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Love is kind. Love wanteth not itself. Is not easily provoked. Is not puffed up. Speaketh no ill against our neighbor. Hallelujah. We must walk in love. We must abide in love. How do we abide in love? And by keeping God's commandments. We must keep his commandments. We must walk humbly before him that the love that he has shown us will be manifested through our lives. Let us strive to keep God's commandments. Let us strive to live holy and humbly in front of him. Help. Let us strive to recognize his love for us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That we may be able to tell someone about Jesus. Spread his love. The song again comes to mind, shout it on the mountain top, proclaim it in the busy streets, tell it everywhere we go. Let us start telling it everywhere we go that Jesus loves you. Someone out there 
if you stop to give someone on the street corner a dollar or two because they're they're holding a sign and they're destitute don't forget as you give them the money comes to mind do we even do that do we even do we even pause to give someone a couple of dollars it's not our responsibility what they do to it the Bible says if you see your brother in need and you shut up your bowels of compassion about uh, toward them, how dwelleth the love of God in us? Mm. <laughs> how dwelleth the love of God in us? If we, when we come to the stoplight and somebody is there with a sign asking for help, I'm hungry, and we wind up our window and, and lock our door. How do I have the love of God in us? And the Bible also teaches us to do good to all men, but especially those who are of the household of faith. How we see our brother in need and we shut up the bowels of compassion and love toward them. How do I have the love of God in us? We must, saints, strive to love one another as God has loved us, we must strive to tell somebody about Jesus so that we can obtain or inherit eternal life through him that loved us so much that he came to earth and he died. Born in a manger, born in a manger, Fulfill the will of his Father. Perform the miracles, loving everybody as he went along. Let love be the theme of our lives. Let love saturate our lives. Let love draw us closer to God. The love of Jesus that has been shed abroad in our lives or to lead and guide us in the right way. God loves you this morning. As you prepare to celebrate the birth of Jesus, let's not forget that he is love. He is the one true love of our soul. Let us share the love of Christ with everybody around us, especially those who are the households of faith. Amen. God bless you today. Love somebody. Tell somebody about Jesus. Say, no, no, no. That's not what Christmas means. That's not what Christmas means. Christmas doesn't mean gifts and toys and 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 all all of all of the things that we do christmas doesn't mean santa claus going to the mall and, and taking pictures with santa claus i don't think they do that anymore because of the pandemic but that's tell somebody tell your children tell somebody that you meet the love the reason for jesus coming to earth is because of love for us that we would be have an opportunity or a right to live free from sin and to enjoy the glory and the presence of God. And it gives us a hope of eternal life through the salvation that he brought to us. God bless you today. God bless you today. Tell somebody about Jesus and Thank his you, love. Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your word this morning. Yes, God. Help us as Christians, help us to tell somebody about the real meaning of Christmas. Help us to tell somebody that you came that they might have eternal life. Help us, Lord Jesus, that your love will 
will show forth your glory will show forth through our lives help us to speak kindly help us Lord Jesus to speak kindly help us to think before we speak that whatever comes out of our, our hearts will be pure and kind the word went forth this morning scripture was quoted out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh help us to speak with love and kindness in the name of Jesus Bless us, Lord Jesus, this week to conduct ourselves according to your word. In the name of Jesus, you came to set us free, yes, Lord. Lord God, through baptism in your name to wash away our sins and the indwelling of the Holy Ghost to give us the strength to live free from sin. In the name of Jesus, we thank you today for your loving kindness that you show toward us. Help us, Lord. Bless us on this week as we attend to the need of our family. In Jesus' name, we praise you today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As we go from here, as we go off of Zoom, Zoom, let us remember what the real reason, the real meaning of Christmas is. That God sent his only begotten son. That through him, we will not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your love, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I would like to announce that this week is Family Week. Amen? Those of you on Zoom, we will not be having Bible study prayer service on Wednesday. Stay home. Attend to your family. Tell your children about Jesus, what the real meaning of the season is. Amen. We will gather again next week, Sunday morning. Breakfast will be served at 10 a.m. Looking forward to seeing you in the house. Amen. There's going to be good food. The menu is... is incredible amen. <laughs> amen. amen i thank sister petty and sister patsy for all their labor of love in preparing breakfast for us and if you would like to help them just let them know amen, amen. i am sure they won't tell you no amen so we'll see you lord's willing next week sunday morning the service will be on Zoom, amen. We'll be eating and fellowshipping, but there is a program after we eat and fellowship, and we will be on Zoom. And if you're not able to be here, our cameras are working. God has blessed us, and um, we were able to acquire a different camera, which requ requires a lot more techno technical um work and we're elder stubberfield is working on it along with the media team so we will be able to 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 include you on our service next week sunday morning amen, amen. so don't say oh they're having breakfast i'm not going to tune in don't do that tune on in zoom will be up we'll be having a good time and you'll be able to share with us amen yeah. maybe you can fix some breakfast at home and eat with us as we eat. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Have a very, very happy, prosperous, blessed holiday season. Saturday is Christmas Day, but we'll be celebrating Sunday morning following Christmas Day. 
Amen. God bless you. We love you. Have a wonderful evening. See you soon. Amen. Amen.